Hello friends, I am your host SRK and she is my assistant Binny and you are watching Science for Juniors. Uh, hello friends. Uh, is it raining? It's pouring. It is very dark outside and raining heavily. See, my new dress got dirty. Yeah, yeah. All the stars on your dress look faded. When there is a star right in front of you, why do you need anyone else? Ah, star? I can't see. Hmm, that is because your eyesight is weak. Ha ha ha, maybe it's cloudy. Huh? Don't get so puzzled, Binny. I'll explain you. When it rains, the clouds cover all the stars in the sky. So you can't see any stars. Oh! <laughs> but don't worry, soon this star will glow with the sunshine from World of Science. <laughs> world of Science? So Professor, what are we going to learn in the virtual world today? Let's clear the shadow of ignorance from the science of stars today. Let me impart you some knowledge on stars and constellations and how do they behave. I'm really excited Professor. Let's enter the virtual world quickly. So here we go in the world of stars. Stargazing is an enjoyable experience. Not only can we spend hours admiring at the sheer number of stars shining back at us in the sky, but also wonder what shapes they form in the sky. Do stars really make any definite shapes in the sky? If yes, do these shapes have names? Let's explore the starry world from a little closer in this module on stars and constellations where we learn about stars, sun and the pole star in the sky and what are constellations. The twinkling lights of the car from a distance seem similar to the distant stars twinkling in the sky. As the lights come closer, they become brighter. Similarly, stars being very far away from the earth appear as twinkling dots. Sun is a star too. Sun is at a distance of nearly 150 million kilometers from Earth. While other stars in the sky are millions of times farther away than the Sun. Sun being closer than other bigger stars appears bigger and brighter than other stars. Have you ever wondered where the stars disappear when it's daytime? Well, they are always there. The light of the sun is so bright that we cannot see them. If the stars are observed on everyday basis from the same orientation, we realize that they appear to move. The stars appear move from east to west just like the sun. It's similar to what you experience in a moving train. The buildings and the people on the streets appear to move backwards. Similar to this, the earth rotates from the west to the east on its axis. Hence, the surroundings of the earth which are the stars in the sky seem to move in the opposite direction, that is, from east to west. There is one star in the sky that appears to be stationary. That's pole star. Its position appears to be fixed in the sky while all other stars appear to move relative to it. Just like this colourful pinwheel with a white centre. Can you see how all its panes move while its central point is stationary? Same is the case with the pole star as it is located along the direction of the Earth's axis while all other stars appear to move from east to west as the Earth rotates 
the pole star appears to be stationary. Oh, this is too difficult to remember, Professor. For that, let's do an activity that will make things easy for you. Activity? What? Take an umbrella. Open it. Binny, now let's do some craft. Cut some star shapes from this paper. Paste them at different places. Wow! This is exciting! Now, place one star at the position of center rod of the umbrella. Now, rotate the umbrella like this. What can you observe? Yes, Professor. All the stars appear to move, but the one at the position of center rod is stationary. Exactly. On a similar note, the star located high up in the north, above the axis of rotation of Earth, is known as Pole Star or North Star or Polaris. Hey, this has made it so easy! Now, let's enter the virtual world and make this topic even more interesting. Let's try and find shapes made by the stars in the sky. When stars form a group, that has a recognizable shape, it is called a constellation. The shapes of constellations resemble objects familiar to us. Oh, this group of stars looks like a huge ladle. This group of stars or constellation is Ursa Major or the Great Bear. It is also known as the Big Dipper or Saptarshi because it resembles the shape of a dipper used for drinking water in ancient times. This constellation can be seen during the early part of a summer night from the Northern Hemisphere. It has seven prominent stars in the formation of a big ladle or question mark. Three stars make up the handle of the ladle and four make up the bowl. Ursa Major constellation helps locate the pole star. Look at the two stars at the end of Ursa Major. Imagine a straight line passing through these stars. Extending this imaginary line leads to a pole star. Wow! I will check these shapes tonight. Hope you do get to see Benny. With such a rainy day, I doubt. Stars will shine today, Professor. Binny is going to see them. Aha! Do you know which is the brightest star in the sky? Huh? Sirius. It is also known Dog Star. The name comes from a Greek word meaning sparkling or scorching. Oh, great! This topic on stars and constellation is making me crazy. I'm enjoying. Well then, let's hit the virtual world again and know more about them. The second prominent constellation is Orion. Orion or the hunter can be seen during late evenings in winter time. This constellation includes seven or eight bright stars. The three middle stars constitute the belt of the hunter. Four bright stars are arranged in a quadrilateral shape. Sirius is the brightest star in the sky, which is located close to Orion. The third prominent constellation is Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia can be seen during the early part of a winter night. This constellation resembles a distorted letter W or M. Wasn't it fun learning about all these stars and constellations? It was a great learning for me today. Like pole star, I'm gonna shine soon. Ha ha ha! I listened to many tales of North Star. This is like one more. Tales? Like what? Let's enter our Do You Know section and I'll tell you some interesting stuff on North Star. Let me tell you about the most famous story of North Star. 
It is a Native American myth explaining why North Star stands still. Story? Wow! A brave son, Naga, tried to impress his father by climbing the tallest cliff he could find. Through difficult conditions, he persisted until he found himself at the top of a very high mountain. Unfortunately, there was no way down. Oh, then? When his father came looking for him, he found Naga stuck high above. Not wanting his son to suffer for his bravery, he turned Naga into a star that can be seen and honored by all living beings. Ah, but Professor, why do we care so much about the North Star? For many years, the North Star has been used as a navigation aid and to chart navigational maps. It has also been used to measure astronomical latitude. In addition to these functional uses, over time, many cultures have built folklore around the North Star. All right, Benny, it's time to revise what we have learned today. Let's have a quick recap. In this module, we learned that sun and stars are located millions of kilometers away from the Earth. Stars move from east to west, whereas Earth moves from west to east. Constellations are made of stars that form recognizable shapes. Prominent constellations include Ursa Major, Orion and Cassiopeia. So, my shining Benny, how was the learning experience today? Great, Professor! With this learning, soon I'll shine like a dog star. See, my friends, even Benny is becoming smarter in our company. It is time for me to go now, but you keep exploring the wonders of science. <laughs>